Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you on how we can easily use Toggle Track for time tracking your projects. Now the first thing that you want to do is just go to top right and click try for free. Now if you already own an account guys, completely skip this step, okay? So let's click sign up through email. I agree to terms and service. You can also sign with the Gmail or Apple. I will paste the email here and password. Sign up. Now the first thing that I'm going to show you is how you can simply uh, like understand. Then we will go to settings and then we will go how we can create projects and everything. I will explore on my own. Don't click on start the guide. And here we go. So the first thing or when you're going to enter toggle, you're going to see the timer here. You would spend most of the time where you would like be adding a project and then start time tracking. Then you would have analyze. You would see reports here and insights. Insights are your own projects and everything. Then we're going to see the projects. We would be creating projects right here. Clients in clients. We will be creating client on team. We would be inviting some other members here creating tags based on which you can filter projects, settings, help and subscription. You can also import and export and the whole mobile app or desktop app even. So this is pretty much it what you will get from toggle track. It's not a uh, like big science to understand. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Now, when you want to click here on the settings, this is what I recommend to do. Select logo here and change the workspace name if you need to. Then you're going to see the team members rights here, access and visible to rights for team members who can see team activity, who can create a project, who can see build the rates. You can change that. Then this is really important to uh, edit default billing setup. So right here, you're going to see that you're going to have like billable or non billable and hourly rate zero currency USD. Let's say I'm going to billable. 50 bucks an hour. By changing this rate, you are updating all historical data and reporting associated with this rate. Previous and future time entry data attributed to this will be affected. Do you want to proceed? Yes, change rate. So that's pretty much it how we do it. Then you can have the time entry restriction. Set rules to make your sure your reports are always orderly. And you can also lock time entries. That's up to if you have it and time rounding in reports. So then you're going to see also the workspace ownership. So the most important thing is default building setup that I recommend to change for you. When we go even further, then you're going to see next things as alerts. You can create alert. We will, we will create it. Okay. Reminders. You can create also like reminder integrations with other softwares import data export single sign on now we will be creating alerts and reminders when we are going to have projects already okay we will get back to it now another thing that i want to show you guys is when you would click on the bottom left to your profile and click profile settings and then you're gonna have the email name i recommend scrolling down and changing also your time and date based on where you are and also changing the first day of the week and time format and date format. That's something that I would definitely change if I would be you uh, based on your location. So don't forget it. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you after we finished the settings and long walkthrough is how we can add team members. So here, pretty much, you would go to top right and click invite members, one or more emails, and I would edit it like this. If you're going to work with other people. So members invited. And you would find it right here. You can also add a new group for your team members and see activity. What was actually happening? So this is how you can invite members. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add clients. And how we can actually add the clients. Under projects, click clients here, go to top right, click new client, client name. Let's I'm going to name it Marcus client and create. 
and voila here i have it when i would click on the three dots here i can edit it or i can delete it then when you have client we are going to cre create a project on which we are going to assign the client with so go to the top right click new project and here project name let's say this is going to be youtube channel client is going to be marcus client template i don't have any if you're going to have one or some you can find it right here and if it's a private project or no only project members can access private projects public projects can be accessed by everyone that's up to you and what you can do is guys is also change the color here so you can even use a custom color and you can change the workspace or you can create a new one so if you can have like multiple workspaces you can switch between them then click create a project and voila here we have the project right now when i would click on a project we can see the data about it i can see the tasks and this is where you can add a task so let's say for youtube channel we are going to have a task of task name create a video save and i can mark it as done and i can assign myself for it then i can click on a team and add a member to this project i can go to top right click edit project and look at this this is really important here you can have a client name billable rate let's say it's going to be 25 for this project estimate hours you can add it and you can have project estimates will be calculated based on the tasks estimates you can change that if it's a private project and you can set it as a template what does it mean is that you would have it as a template when you would choose it for div for new projects and then you can archive it or delete it so let's click save and this is how i do it so we see the rate here um we can add the costs here and role manager on the dashboard we would see all the data now when you finish the project the next thing that we are going to do i'm going to teach you how we can easily add tags so i would click on tags here go to top right again click on a new tag tag name um, it's going to be youtube then i'm going to go again to top right new tag and i would add youtube video click create so we got it and now let's go to the juicy stuff and we are going to actually track the timer so click on a timer and i'm going to show you how we can actually use it now what are you working on here i'm going to write youtube script i can do that right and it will start working right now but as you can see, it's like you don't see uh, for which it was actually meant to be. So we need to click here. I can simply click YouTube channel. See, I can create a new project. I can add tags and I can add if it's going to be billable or no. So first thing, don't do this that you're going to like write. A, let's say what are you working on? and then start pressing the start time entry what you want to do is to <clears throat> first click on project have it on then add a tags and then if it's going to be billable or no and now i'm going to write youtube script and then press start and as you can see it's already counting now i can press stop and voila here i have it but what i can do is you're gonna see the timer mode or manual mode on the right top you can simply switch so let's say i forgot to track my time but i know that yesterday i was working from 6 43 a.m to 9 43 a.m i know it was for project marcus client 
I know that I had this text on and it's billable. And I was working on a new YouTube video. And I'm going to top right and click fine. And right now, as you can see, we got it right on. But what you can do, you can also continue the time entry. So that's what you can do. And this is how we can do the manual mode. And this is how we can do also the timer mode. And you can have weekly calendar and daily calendar. And now let's go jump back to project. And I want to show you the analytics and everything. When I would click back on a project, I can click on my project and look at this. So I got to see the Thursday and Friday, three hours, $75 because I got a 25 bucks an hour. It's a 75 combined. And then I got a few seconds right here in Friday. So this is where you would find the dashboard. I can simply also add a task and let's say, okay, I can mark it as a done. I can go back to analyze and report and I see it right here. So this week, and I can simply switch between the clients and the project this week on Thursday, I was working for three hours. I was working for $75 I earned and I can hide the amount. I can show it, show amounts and rates. I can have round, rounding on. So let's say if it's going to be, as you can see, $75. It's going to be $75, 0, 0.6 cents. I can have it just 75 and also duration is going to be calculated or rounding. <clears throat> if you want, I would like recommend having it. It will be really great to have it. And now when we go further, uh, you can go to top right and simply download as PDF that you can like send to someone. So as you can see, this is what I would send to my client on his email address. And now when you would come here, you would see the bill be hours, the $75 duration and everything. So this is something that you can send to your client. And after reporting, you can see also insights here. And on insights, you would see, okay, for this project, what are the insights? But you're not going to get a lot of data trends only because I didn't have too much data to implement. So in the moment when you're going to have a lot of data, you would see right here. So then if you don't, if you have any questions, guys, about reporting, ask me down on comments. I'll be happy to help you. Uh, then you can have like, Friday, Wednesday, Tuesday here, many days. And the last thing guys, I want to show you is how we can actually use extension. So when I would come here to toggle, track extension, okay. Add to Chrome, add extension. And then I'm going to Find it. Here it is. And I will click here. And as you can see, I got to see it right here, what they're working on. So let's say I'm going to click on, I'm working on uh, YouTube SEO. I would click start. And why it's, while it's like, <clears throat> doing it, I can add a project, YouTube channel, I can add a tax and voila, if it's a billboard, no. And then I would click done. See, and right now I can be working and I don't have to actually even go here, but look at this. When we did it, the Docker track timer starts counting too, only because it's directly connected together. And you can, of course, have a settings here and everything. So this is the setting for the extension that you can uh, change. Starting and stopping the timer, start timer automatically. Project settings, if it's going to be like default project, let's say you're working on something, then if you would choose it, it would automatically start um, recording stuff for date for this project. 
So that's how we do it. And the last thing that I want to show you in settings is how we can add reminder and alerts. So that will be the last thing in the video. And I will click here on settings. I can simply go on alerts. I can go to top right, new alert. If project reaches 75%, workspace admin, create alert. See? And then reminders. I can go to the right, new reminder. <clears throat> if team member tracked less than 15 hours by the end of the week, let's create a reminder. So this is pretty much it how we do it. And this is how we can use the toggle track. Thank you very much guys for watching. And I hope you are going to have a great day. If you can have any questions, ask me down in the comments. This was a toggle track tutorial, how to use toggle track, toggle track for the beginners, toggle track guide, toggle track tutorial. And yeah, thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.